um, like right after he's strange and goes off, he would have gotten it. Oh my god, new Mountain Kings get caught. Mountain King gets to act like killing them, TP's away, and it looks like another footman gets killed by uh, by Coil right before the TP. So, um, Ted came out with the five acolytes again without any uh, losing too much economy. And I think Eevee lost about four footmen right there. Let's see, let's count the corpse one, two, three. Uh, wait, that's it. I think only two corpse, two footman corpses. Okay. Um, Ted's gonna get the chop and he's gonna get a level three item. Oh, uh, what the hell? Eevee's gonna rebuild his expansion. <laughs> He was gonna try to view build his expansion. This is kind of funny. This is, this is like a, one of those uh, stubborn, uh, stubborn st strategies. <laughs> um, man, this is kind of funny. Uh, by the way, I, I have a question. Does uh, for for my all my subscribers and viewers, do they still have do they still have separate servers for a ring of, ring of chaos? Um, on Battle.net, I wonder if they do because I, it's been a while since <laughs> been a few years since I log on uh, with my Ray of Chaos account. Um, <laughs> I don't think I have. I still have it. <laughs> I, I, no, no, I still have it, but I don't know. I don't remember the password honestly. And uh, literally, looks like they're gonna hit level almost level three. And here comes Yifi again, try to harass. And the goals are really well prepared. Uh, here comes Fullman going in first to try to harass the Acolytes. And the Mountain King's gonna oh gets coiled. One Stormbolt he gets to hit him level four though, um, but the Iman King's gonna back away and I don't where I don't know where uh, Ted's uh, no Lich here's the Lich that Iman King's gonna get nobody where where's the Lich going oh my god oh my god Iman King's gonna get him with nice coil that's a hell of a range that's like it's like a sniper coil right there it's like man that's oh man I don't know if you, know if you guys caught it that's a hell of a coil. I know people complain about the range of coils and storm boats and uh, and what else? What else they complain about? Oh, um, coil storm boats and uh, uh, shockwaves. The the range of these three uh, abilities uh, feels so freaking far. If you well, they're they range 600, but if you cast it and stop and the other your target is moving, that makes it makes it look. Um, Make, makes it look as if the uh, the the range of the cat the range of the uh, spell is just so much longer than it should be. Especially if Colt try to do it against a hero that has a boost of speed. Now Ted has a complete map control. He can either counter expand or put pressure on the expansion. He decides to uh, put pressure on the expansion because he uh, got a sacrifice skull and never used it yet. And one tower is going to be taken down. Another tower is going to get focused down. Nice Nova. Uh, slow down all the peasants and slow down the repair rate as well. Yes, I said it. If you know about the peasants and this uh, slow down their repair rate, just uh, remember that. And anyway, these towers are gonna get taken down. Here comes the oh, here comes the MK gets purchased out of the tavern, and uh, MK is not even full mana now. He has enough mana for two stone boats. And but these peasants are gonna get uh, completely slaughtered by the by the skeleton warriors. Now. Uh, what me wagons? <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, that me wagon is gonna take a lot of siege. Nice butt mage. I never expect, expected that to drain the mana on the DK. Uh, and uh, of course, supply mana to the, the MK if he wants. We've seen Sky does it a lot. Use the uh, use the uh, the uh, mana chain chain kill or whatever. Yeah, to supply mana to the MK. So the MK is gonna have a lot of freaking mana. And. uh yeah, it's gonna suck some mana from a M from a DK and get the mana, give the mana to MK. It's a really nice ability on the Blood Mage. Um, that's what, what normal, uh, yeah, that's um, what they meant by the um, the Chinese player, hu Chinese humans. They all they all like wear the same pants or uh, shop at the same mall or something. They, they do the exact same thing. <laughs> they do exactly the same thing. It's kind of a weird. Here comes an MK has a lot of freaking mana. That that Blood Mage just supplies so much mana. Uh, nice coil on the, M on the lich. This, this, um, what do you call that ability? A man or something? A uh, mana drain. <laughs> wow, a fail right there. <laughs> That's the easiest name to remember. I forget about it. Uh, looks like Teddy tried to pass the TP to the lich. Oh, here we go. The lich can be TP away. Oh, nice. And but still, a lot of peasants dead, uh, killed by Ted. So Ted has like. Actually, ahead, um, despite his economic disadvantage, 
that EMP is going to have um, let's see casters and I don't see any blacksmith again so EMP is not going to get any uh, what is it called um, rifleman and two, 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 two. Ted is going to crash for each jack. Oh, that money can you just be careful. No one coil. Oh, no, no, never mind. Uh, it's going to say, oh, that, uh, Ted, uh, Ted doesn't have enough money for um, mana for Nova. Um, Small breaker is getting cut, caught. Uh, oh, wait, they didn't get Nova. He got uh, Frost and Hammer. Nice coil uh, there. But uh, Yuffie is getting, getting seized by that dragon. Uh, Yuffie is going to back away just a little bit. But the Abomination is going to eat those Small Breakers alive. If uh, Infi doesn't micro them well, and the blood mage is gonna get focused down, blood mage has to run to the fountain to heal. Meanwhile, this uh, these skull breakers gonna get trapped. One skull breaker is gonna get taken down, and goal one goal is being brought over by Ted just to uh, maximize the damage. I think this goal has frenzy. Let's see if he does. Let's see if the goal does frenzy. Uh, be it ever attacks, like just go ever attacks. No, he doesn't have frenzy. Okay, but the extension is gonna take him down one more time. That's about, uh, I don't know, 800 gold down the drain. The, I'm not counting the peasants. I'm just counting the I'm just counting these two town halls because they, both of them were uh, power built, uh, speed built. So they were um, they cost a lot more than they should. And then, of course, the uh, human town hall costs 385 gold, 210 lumber. And if you power build them, it's likely to cost 400 gold. And then you have, uh, of course, you uh, have... Take a take it down twice. That's 400 gold, uh, 800 gold right there. I'm not counting the, I'm not counting the money that you lost um, during mining. The mining time you lost, of course, all the peasants you lost. So Ted is actually way ahead. If he has to do something spectacular to get back to this game, he's gonna upgrade all these towers he's made. And uh, I don't think that's gonna be enough. These four towers aren't gonna be enough. And as soon as Ted has destroyers, these towers are gonna melt. Uh, I think this statue is going to get turned to, uh, uh, turn to um, what do you call that? Destroyer first. Whew. Forgetting names left and right. And that looks like the game is about to be over. I think Ted noticed, uh, if you if noticed that there's no way you can break a Ted, you can break an undead base without any siege weapon. <laughs> Look at this. You have a black set of with four spare towers, and if has what, four towers in his base? Yeah, he's going to bring everybody and you turn everybody into militia and I don't think that's gonna work yeah this militia are gonna melt against Nova and uh, abominations and uh, if he hasn't managed to kill a single spirit tower using everything to attack that spirit tower he still didn't manage to take it down <laughs> it's kinda of funny if he GG so I hope you guys enjoy that little game there um, I hope you that the, for those undead players out there to uh, Ted has show you how to counter uh, a human fasting span just uh, creep jack them and uh, keep keep skeleton words around their around their fat expansion. Of course, use skeleton warriors to to kill the peasants. Um, that's the basic idea. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the game two. So we're gonna move on to game three.